So that, they like my writing? It's good, eh? <laughs> this is actually oat bran and I chose that because it's actually higher in fiber and there's probably more nutrients because it's all the, the good stuff from the oats. Berries, maple syrup, and flax seeds for omega-3. <laughs> Don't need fish. We finally got everyone in the same room at once, eh? Yeah. So this is the office that is based in London that I'll be working out of, and we have the team here. We got Max behind the camera. My favorite quote that's been helping me a lot is, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Because that was my problem before, and I was stressing out trying to make little insignificant differences that don't actually matter in the larger context hold back my productivity. Yep. That your environment is the most determining factor for everything. Addiction, if you've got drugs around you, you're gonna use them. If you've got computers and work around you, you're gonna work harder. If you wake up next to a gym, you're gonna go train more likely. If you've got healthy food around you, you're gonna eat healthy. If you're constantly surrounding yourself with, you know, non-vegans and, you know, burgers and bacon and you, you're completely disconnecting yourself from what happens to animals, you're gonna fall off the wagon. If this is over. It's disconnect. This serial killer's talking about eating people and he doesn't have any empathy and it's crazy because like the way that someone can can do something so evil without having any remorse is like, I've drawn a little di diagram here, but like just to say this is your emotion here and this is your conscience or your mind or your, you know, it's disconnected from the heart here, you know, and this is where this man here prefers to live. That's, that's why he has no remorse because he's, he's, he's learnt to disconnect his conscious, conscience, his mind from his emotion. And when you align these two, which is what I did when I got out of the gangs, I started to align my conscience and my emotion. This is where veganism is. This is where um, empathy is. There's a massive disconnect from people eating animal products. And the way they do that is by blocking it out, then don't look at the slaughter footage, you know. They disconnect the fact that that flesh was torn off of, animal, uh, off of an animal who didn't want to die, so disconnect is huge. This is how people can do such evil things through their secondhand behavior. Getting concepts into action because talking about stuff is good, but having the courage to go and do it is how you make an impact. We should go see what the public think about this. Let's go do some interviews. What do I know you? I do? Where yeah. from? From Instagram, right? Oh, Instagram, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Katya. Katya, nice to meet you, Katya. Nice Are you a vegan? Yeah. Uh... Vegeta vegan, vegetarian, vegetarian buffet. Eight pounds all you can eat. That's good. Oh my god, look at you! Hello, what's your name? You want to interview? What you, what's your name? I'm Joey. Do you eat flesh? Really nice talking to you guys. Take care. Take care, mate. You too, mate. That's how easy it is. Prime someone, you know, with an analogy that they understand is wrong and then bring animals into it and, all right, let's go see someone else. Vegan available as well. There's definitely some flesh burgers going on here. From the 90s, a serial killer and he got caught for killing people and eating them. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, really good. Really good? Yeah, I love to do that. You love to do yeah. that. If they were to see animals being killed, they would react differently to someone who was sort of connected and conditioned to the slaughter process. I think absolutely. I mean, first of all, it's a pretty gruesome process, in all honesty. It's quite gross. Yeah. Um, it's messy. And then again... They struggle a lot? Hey, brother. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry to bust in. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's this for? Oh, my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you, you haven't cleared it with anyone here, though, have you? Oh, are you the boss here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he's done. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's all right. That's all good. It's almost in two complete minds. So in one mind, when I talked about the serial killer, he was like, 
yeah, that's, you know, morally wrong. But then he started, he actually tried to start justifying the serial killer's behavior. I don't know, he, says, he seemed like he was just as disconnected, to be honest. He could, he, he, he could clearly separate these two almost identical situations completely. I was trying this whole time to try to help him connect Arthur's situation with his situation. He just didn't pick up what I was putting down. I know you had to do it. Uh, you know vegan, me. Vegan, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. That's not going to be any fun. Oh, sorry, Are you a vegan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Someone tried to take our memory card before. I did mine. Yeah, someone tried to steal our camera before. They weren't happy about our questions. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Oh, no, that's all right. That's I all need good. you to delete everything that's been done so far. So the hardest part of this job is actually asking people for interviews. But once you get in the flow of it, it's all good. Just know, most people will say no to you. Okay, we'll just try these people here. Oh my God, you wanna be an interview? Quick? No, you gotta go. You gotta be used to rejection in this game. And I'm very used to it, don't you worry. We feel bad, but I've got to get a train now. Okay. Hold but on, but let me give you... Before you leave, before you leave, can you give him a, a, a kiss towards this direction? No, no, the other one. You gotta see what's on his neck. No, what? You gotta see what's on. His I don't neck. get what. What? what on whose neck? Look at his neck. Vegan. Ah, <laughs> uh, you busted me. Yeah, I'm a vegan. Oh my God. <laughs> right, see you later. Did I give you a card? Uh, this is uh, my YouTube channel, so Thanks. check it out. Nice talking to you. That was the best one. Yeah. <laughs> she just ate a burger and she just made the connection and hopefully she goes vegan from that. Maybe she will. Yeah, it's so funny, uh, they got ethically sourced on the, um, the window there. I guarantee you they used dairy milk in there, but dairy can never be ethically sourced. It's just inherently abusive and cruel and unseen right to me. There we go. That's the only, ethic that's the only ethical sourcing, 100% vegan. Let's stop by there. If it ain't vegan, it ain't ethical. Everything here is vegan? Yeah. Everything's vegan. Can I get three of those peanut butter jelly uh, brownies, please? Are you a vegan? Uh, I'm not personally. Have you ever thought about doing, uh, trying a vegan lifestyle out? We've got some arancini balls and some brownies. It. Ditch milk, dog friendly. Also pig friendly, cow friendly, chicken friendly, and fish friendly. Awesome. All uh, right, let's go home. Yeah. We're back to the office where I'll sit behind the computer for the next 16 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, oh my god. Look at the, the look at that, alright? The green green grass. Chickens in you know this you're never gonna find chickens like this. And someone's put stop animal cruelty on it. They don't show like chickens bleeding out, their heads cut off, feathers being plucked out, guts ripped up on the on the floor. They just show like from farm to plate. There's a bit big bit here and that's the disconnect. That's the part that people are disconnected from the slaughterhouse. So what have they got in here? Oh, they've got all Indian stuff, curries, lentils, potatoes. Uh, but they've got, wait, vegan and vegetarian specialties. Non-vegetarian, so they do serve the flesh of Holocaust victims here on the right. Look at that. I'd rather eat, or would you rather eat severed limbs from a bird that wanted to live? Or some fried onion bar bhaji, some potatoes, and look at that. <laughs> onion rings. Or body parts. Lunch. Check it out. This here is this oomph. Um, if you can find it, it's called oomph. I nearly forgot. <laughs> this here, and people ask me where I get my B12 from. Right here. This stuff is like gold dust for vegans. Treat it like cocaine. <laughs> it's very, it's highly addictive. Amazing, why aren't you vegan yet? You know what? That was the first day everyone was here together, working together. Felt like a team already, eh? You reckon? But like what values um, are driving the work? You know, what intention is behind that? 
and what outcome we want to see. So the mission, the core mission is making an impact in people's lives, helping animals, changing the state of the earth. So that I just want that written in as an intention. So something we can focus on, because big part of the reason I keep driving myself forward is I have an intention every day and I just focus on that and everything seems to work out. Thanks for everything. How do you feel, Joey? I feel kind of strange that I finally got a group of people together to work instead of just me trying to like do everything myself. The light's shining down on me from the heavens. <laughs> Is that the vegan gods? Is that Gary Orofsky? <laughs> it's, the, it's the tofu gods saying how happy they are that we're increasing the demand of tofu. That should be the mission statement. Increase the demand of tofu.